I'm trying to think of the worst case scenario of a black person calling a white person who is not racist a racist or a white person being called a racist when they're not um, let me think hmm somebody might think something about you that isn't true somebody might think something about somebody else that isn't true okay so what about all the times where a black person calls out a racist thing that somebody else racist has done that fits this fits what you're doing that you don't notice is racist or a saying that you don't know is racist because of something else because we all have those times but we never think that whenever it's someone else we just wanna be heard and be told I'm not racist I'm not racist I'm not racist okay I don't doubt that you're not racist but you are kind of um, ignorant because uh, a people like I don't know people who started off black and red who are now tan and off-white uh, they didn't used to look like that and they had a history that was destroyed by uh, mm, Europeans so naturally after being beaten and hosed and having dogs sicked on them and the cops brutalizing and beating and killing them every fucking decade up until um oh wait let me know when it stops naturally they're not gonna um trust the cops they're gonna have a little uh about white people and they're gonna probably assume you're racist even if you're not kinda makes sense if you look at your history or excuse me our history american history if you include every group here every single group includes white people and every single time you're not our white savior. You are not our Jesus. You're not our white Jesus anyway. You are not, um, you know, the white freaking gold, whatever. What is Michelle Pfeiffer? I love her, but still, you're not Michelle Pfeiffer. This is not freaking, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I mean, you kind of made it that way. And that's the thing I don't get. Like, how do you not understand? How do, How is it so easy? I understand to a point because black people, myself included, were raised a certain way and everything is omitted because my history books, Texas history books, when it came to the Alamo, when it came to slavery, there was black marks and Sharpie all through our shit. Our books were from the 60s and 70s, so they didn't trade them out for a couple years after that but that is what it is they omitted things and when we asked why they said it was because they didn't want to offend people by the language that they used back then I'd rather be offended and enlightened than just happy-go-lucky and not knowing what the fuck the bullshit happening to me is happening for and I think doing that to white people helps the cause because the white people who were neutral in the situation in the past are the ones who actually helped all the fucked up shit happened to us. It's not about what you did, what you didn't do, what your grandparents did, what your grandparents didn't do. It's about what the majority of you guys did. And the fact that you're so quick to um, speak up and say, I wasn't like that, I'm not like my grandpa, and my dad wasn't like that, before you say this was fucked up and there's something we should do about it because there's an issue here and it's obvious because look, look, look a fucking round. No. Because you're that person who sits there saying, you know what, I don't want these niggers around, but I don't want them to be slaves, I don't want to see them hurt, but I guess I'll just let it, let's just see what happens. Oh gosh, these guys are just doing these protests and they're all peaceful and I don't want to see them hurt and that's really wrong, but I'm not about to go to jail for this shit. Look at this white dude over here with his face all beat in. Let's just see how it goes. Y'all are the most dangerous ones because y'all are actually the majority. The top couple percent is not the majority. The little minions down here, they're the ones that allow everything to happen. The majority rules and the majority has to step up and say this is wrong. All this propaganda towards the Native Americans turned Mexican Americans, this the Africans and this whole I got Indian in my blood, all this shit has something to do with everything done and it was never illegal to do it in public in groups up until a couple decades ago y'all say this is the past what MLK got shot in what 68 
And in 1970, whenever they'd have Thanksgiving parades, business owners who were Native American would get stopped and pushed to the side. It's a Thanksgiving tradition. We don't need y'all starting problems here. So don't tell me it's the freaking past. 1970 is not that freaking long ago. You get freaking kidding me? Ugh. It's just disgusting how easy it is. And I, I, I can't stress that I get how easy it is to forget and not understand something you're not affected by. But it's so much easier to forget and not understand something you think you're not affected by when you're affected positively and you see other people somewhat affected like you. If you really gave a shit, you wouldn't look for ways to prove black people wrong or prove them being overdramatic. You would go out of your way to actually look and see the differences between the times. Like, y'all can say this is the times, but who the fuck do you think raised us? What the hell did you think their childhood was? Those people, the past. Who raised them? The people with the more fucked up past. Who raised them? People with the more fucked up past. It all rolls downhill and it's all shit piled on top of shit on top of shit. So this one time when you're not out here, like... Saying we're gonna, these fucking niggers, these fucking, these delinquents, these thugs, these this, these that. Come on. The lingo changes, but the. You can go look up American history online right now. And between 1940 and 1980, you will not be able to tell a single solitary difference in the police force. You will not be able to tell the difference in the white anger and hatred towards black people. The only difference you see is black people changing the freaking style that, you know, not going to go there, and the way they deal with things. Before it was fight back, fight back. Black folks have always fought back together. They've always had unity. Always. They don't tell you that in history. The slave ships, one in every ten slave ship that came over here, there was a freaking a war on top of the ship. That Amistad shit was made to seem like it was just one in a million. No, that was a regular thing. Black folks have always fought back. So, same thing with natives. That's why it's quick to say, oh, the natives didn't deal with that shit, but black people did, obviously. Come on. Psychological here, psychological warfare started with the Native Americans before it started with the Africans. Period. It's disgusting how people can sit here and say, I'm not like this but then do nothing, absolutely nothing, to help the situation. You just want to make sure everybody knows how I don't judge black people. I mean, you know, I know how they are, but, you know, I wouldn't say it out loud. Give me a fucking break. My parents weren't like that, and my grandpa, what he, I don't feel like he feels. Well, what your grandpa felt, my grandpa felt, you dumb bitch. That's the shit that y'all don't understand. You're sitting here making every fucking thing about you and you're not understanding the other fucking side of the freaking grass. You may not feel towards us how your grandparents feel or how your parents felt, but their fucking feelings were legal to take out on ours. And all y'all do is say it's the past. No, the past always has an effect on the present. And you never get it. Ever. But every single one of y'all little poor white boys want to say, black people beat me up, black people beat me up. That shit fucks with you every day, doesn't it? Imagine that, but being your entire fucking race, prick. God, you make everything about you, but you're never able to step into another person's fucking shoe. The white man has a God complex.